Hello everyone, my name is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in my today's video, I'll show you how to use Llama 2 on your local machines using Text Generation Web UI. So this Text Generation Web UI is a Gradio-based interface for running large language models. It provides us a user-friendly interface to interact with these models and to generate text. Okay. So now uh, let's uh, start the process. Let's uh, let's have a separate environment and in that separate environment we will install all the modules which are required for this text generation web UI and Llama 2. Okay, so let's see all the steps. So first thing is open command prompt and here enter in the drive where you want to work. So in this I already have a folder with the name of Llama 2 underscore env. So guys I always prefer to work in a separate environment so for today's tutorial also I have created a separate environment okay and if you want to create this environment I will show you the versions which I'm using and then you can have the same uh, environment okay. So just cd Llama 2 and then I'm activating the environment now. Okay, now let's check the Python version which we have in this environment. So the Python version is 3.10.11. Now let's see the Torch version. So the Torch version is 2.0.1 and it is compiled with CUDA 11.7. Okay, so now next thing is first thing is we will uh, have this text generation web UI. First we'll do the setup, first we will install this and then we will work on Llama 2, okay? So for that you need to open this GitHub repo. Okay, yeah, this one. Text generation web UI. So you have to clone this, okay? Once you clone this GitHub repo, let me go to the folder. So you will have this kind of folder. Inside that you have a requirements file. You have to install it using this command pip install requirements.txt. So after running this pip install requirements.txt, you have all the requirements and then you can now run your text generation web UI. Okay, how you can do that? Just go here, here, okay, enter in the folder. So my code is in. Inside this, I have a text generation web UI. Now run Python server.py. So enter. So you can see here our app is running. So you just you can copy this from here and then go to your browser and you can see your application over here. Now we have the text generation web UI with us. Now next step is to work with uh, Llama 2. Okay. So for that, see here model. Okay. Inside the model here. Okay, guys, for today's tutorial, we are working on this model. You have to just go to hugging face. So this is the hugging face page and here search for this model okay so we will use this model for our today's class so this is a chat model 13 billion parameters llama 2 13 billion parameters chat model okay so we want to use that now copy the name from here and then go to your app over here and paste it and then click on download so i have already downloaded so i'm not clicking it again so you click on download and this model will start downloading okay once the download complete refresh over here okay now you have refreshed it after that you will see that model name over here click on that model name and then click on load now here you can see the model is loading okay it will take some time and after that your model will be ready to use and here guys remember here model loader we need transformer over here okay so once the model is loaded just go to this chat and then start chatting. So let's ask a question, write a linear regression program in Python. Okay. 
you can see it's started the process so it is loading this data set and then it is loading this train test split also and here we are having the data set and on this data set it will perform the linear regression here it is dividing the data into train and test so it is providing as a proper example. Now you can see that here we are calling a linear regression model and then we are fitting the model. And now here we are calculating, you can get the coefficients over here and then we can predict. Okay. So see, see this is how it provided us the answer. Now we can ask any question to it. So suppose uh, which is the first convolutional neural network so you can see the lenate one this is the first convolutional neural network and the answer is correct right so this is how uh, we have used uh, the llama 2 model in this uh, text generation web ui Text generation web UI is providing us the interface where we can type in the question and we will get our response back. Okay. And uh, front end we have with this text generation UI and on the back end, this Llama 2 model is working. Okay. In the same way, uh, you can use other large language models also. In our case, right now I'm using the 13 billion model. You can work with 7 billion or 70 billion model. Okay. So yeah, this is how this um, this is how you can use it. Okay, I hope this video is helpful. Thank you for watching.